Phone notifications are great, but sometimes you need that classic doorbell sound. In this video, I show you easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions on setting up your Ring Chime. So let's get to it. First of all, open up the Ring app. Once open, press set up a device and select Chimes. It will then ask you to scan the QR code that's located on the back of a Ring Chime. So press I'm ready to scan, allow the camera, and then scan the QR code. You'll then detect a ring chime. You need to choose where it is. So I'll select my home address and press continue. You can give it a name. I'm gonna call mine downstairs, but you can customize this if you want. Now you need to plug the chime into a socket and press chime is on. It'll then ask your Wi-Fi password. So make sure you have it with you. So I'm gonna press I have my password. It then tells you to get near to the chime. So I'm near, so I'm gonna press, I am near the device. After a short while, the chime should start to flash green. If it doesn't flash green, press and hold the reset button on the right of the chime, located just here. But mine is flashing green, so I'm gonna press, yes, the light is flashing green. It will then prompt me to connect to the Wi-Fi network. So join, allow, it will then show you all available Wi-Fi networks. Mine's Eero, and enter your password. Once entered, press continue. It will then take a minute or two to connect the chime to your Wi-Fi network. As you can see, it's now been successfully connected. It will then talk you through the rest of the setup steps. So first of all, you can choose which alerts the chime should amplify. I'm gonna be setting up my front door. The bell icon will make it ring when somebody presses the front door. The motion icon will give you motion alerts. For now, I'm just going to set up doorbell alerts. Press continue. You can then select your tones. You can even choose some fun seasonal ones. <laughs> Personally, I like the default. You can then also choose a sound for motion. Save and continue. Your chime tones are now saved, so press continue. You're now set up and ready to go. Now let's press the doorbell and see if that's worked. As you can hear, the chime rang when I pressed the doorbell. To change the settings, simply go to the Ring app, slide up to Devices. From here, you can snooze your alerts, or if you press the settings, you can choose to snooze the chime. You can look at the device health. This will show you your current Wi-Fi connection and allow you to change the network if you want it to. You can choose the audio settings, so you can choose your different alerts or your tones. You can also change the chime volume. And to test it, just press the test on chime button. You can also look at the general settings. From here, you can rename the device, choose the location, turn the status light on or off. Or choose to remove the device completely. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please make sure you like and subscribe as it really helps the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.